Hey yo, I be that boy Lane Leezy. It's JC the Light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is your boy Set the Tone okay. Podcast. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, he's here though. He's here. He's here. Uh, he's set the Tone I, I mean, I mean, he does the same thing in his rounds. We global now. Cutting other niggas off. I mean, mm. cut us off. It's all good. We still love you, baby. Yo, Mr. Grown Man Boss. Yo, it ain't a uh-huh. cu- it ain't a cut off. It was just an introduction. Y'all okay. Sound, okay. Uh, <laughs> sound like it just sound like it was supposed to be in three part home. <laughs> Yo, listen, uh, we got Mr. Grown Man Bars, man. Something yeah. you got to deal with. Uh-huh. No matter how many other fabricated lines, it ain't going to equal up to this real shit. Not at all. Mm. What's going on, my nigga? He, he said that shit better than me. I might got to bring him out. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you know what I think? Come on, man. What's this nigga's slogan, my nigga? This nigga <laughs> dead, my nigga. Word. What's the word, my nigga? Talk to the people, my nigga. T-Rex Yo, I'm happy, to, I'm happy to be here, man. I'm just happy to be here, man. We happy you here. Nah, no, nah, man. it's time. Though. What's up, though? What we doing? Tell us, my talking, nigga. Man, we talking that Dot Mall. We talking that Harlem. We talking that New York City. We talking that just, just, just global sound that you got going on. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, your name is, it's, it's out there. It's not new. You know, it's definitely. Uh, not you know, we could, we could even say legend, legend status. You know what I'm saying? I think it's a legend, with the, my nigga. With the, battle, with the battle rap, with, we just, you know what I mean? Just right, right. You know, we don't have to put it in a box or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? But like you, you're a name that people definitely know and respect and honor with, with that craft. You know what I'm saying? So right. I guess we could just start from the beginning. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I'm taking it back. We have, have to. Have to. We we have to, my nigga. Oh, this set the toe podcast. You got to. You know I, I, I heard we that. gotta take it back. Like, I heard that. Like, were you just naturally into right? Because you, you're African, like you said, right? right. You're right. African, Ghanaian. so you Ghanaian. So I don't know. I know I'm Haitian, so you know I know all nationalities have cultures where they might not have accepted hip hop. You know what I mean? They might have not accepted. I, I'm, but that. I was I was born here. I was born here, and um, so me me I'm um, knowing my culture. That's something I had to do when I got older, because my father passed when I was seven. So my father oh, was gone here, so my father was kind of like a nomad to his family. You know what I mean, like to the family as far as being into the culture or in touch with my, mm-hmm. I mean, my native heritage and all that shit. But okay. um, as I got older, you know, one day on Twitter, and um, I said, like, yeah, I'm, watch your mouth, nigga, I'm African to somebody. And then somebody else was like, where you from? And I was like, I'm from Ghana, nigga. Like, I was like, yo, I woke up the next morning, I had like 10,000 more followers. You know? mm. I might be over exaggerating, maybe like five. <laughs> but it was mad more followers. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Damn. And I'm like, yo, damn, yeah, when the battle came out or something? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. But it was all like, yo, you really, where you from? I'm like, yo, I'm from Accra. They're like, oh, you like Fufu? You like me? I'm just bringing yeah, them stuff. Yeah, yeah. I'm just like, yo, wait, I can't speak this shit now. Yeah, Daddy yeah, died yeah, a couple yeah, of me yeah, when I was young, yeah. but you know, I ain't going, I, I'm not going to not stand up for where I'm from and, and be proud of it. So, okay. Oh, so dad is gone. Dad, gone. my father's gone in. Oh, mom. You are with your father. Is. Oh, mom's, mom's in mom. Oh, okay. All right. Got you. Got you. Got you. Yeah, but you is. You know, you Tell the people strong. the legacy you had before Smack came around. Because you was you had a buzz in Harlem way before Smack. I don't know. Before, before Smack DVD, I was a, um, already a household name in the street. Mm-hmm. You know, we ran around betting our money. You know, at the time, you know, two thousand dollars was a lot of money in two thousand one. You know what I'm saying? Still is, nigga. Two thousand dollars is a lot right now. I mean, it's like cut a nigga throat right now. Like, yo, you got it it depends on you know. It, de- it, just, it just depends on how you know. It depends you know what on what your income looks like. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, but at that time, two thousand dollars, it took three or four of us to put that up. Let's put it together. I got you. You know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. we was running around betting that shit. Yeah. And it ain't no losses on my record, mm-hmm. as far as for no money. Or with no judges. You might say, Rex lost to Sean, Rex lost to Clips. I might say, yes, I agree. Mm-hmm. I feel like as far as in the battle, they they won those, they won the battle that night. Okay. So I get that to them. But it's still an opinion because there ain't no judges. Mm-hmm. Like on Total Slaughter, I had judges. You know what I mean? Like Fight Club, you got judges. Okay, I get you. You know what I'm saying? They say he won. Yeah. On URL, you know, it's kind of like, uh, pay. yeah. You won Total Slaughter, though. Ran through total slaughter. You did. You ran yeah. that. You, you got when, that. That's what I'm saying. So whenever it's whenever that's on the line, whenever there's real judges, you are gonna see me. I mean, I ain't coming. To, I ain't coming to get an L. Tell, tell the people like how you how you battle people, but you still go through losses behind closed doors. Oh man, you know, um, me battling Sean was a loss. Just doing it. 
You know, like, so. you know, that's my little brother. I'm saying he a grown ass man now, but no matter what, still my little brother. I'm saying we went through what we went through. Our fighting was all really because we lost Q dot. So it was really no no facilitator for the family. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It was like me taking on a new role. Yeah, I started Dot Mob. Yeah, I, you know, it's my company or whatever. You know what I mean? Along with murder. But at the same time, I was still taking on a role at, you know, Q Dot was the CEO, the active CEO. So he made certain calls and did certain things that I didn't have to do. He did my he did that part for me. So I really was just a co CEO with him. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, I had more of, more of ownership, but he ran the business. You know what I mean? Russell owned it and Leo ran it. I mean, remember? You yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. You know, so that's yeah. that's just how, I mean, that's just how it was with us. So it was a loss just me battling Sean. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And then I, it was a time, you know, at one time, you know, they, me and Mook had a, had a dispute. Oh, okay. When, um, you know, we went at it, it over the over uh, lyrical. And I felt like, you know, the, the world took it wrong. It took it as like Rex and Mook dissing each other. We took it as this is the way that we can get a fight out without on somebody yeah. bleeding. Okay. That's my that's my that's my first cousin on both sides. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know what I mean? What do you mean? Y'all were throwing like shots at each other or We were speaking our mind. Okay. So through, through the know, lyrics. It's shit that I might have did that might have pissed him off and vice versa. And he spoke on it. And the time to speak on it was a time that I was in a dark place. I was going through, I was winning battles, but I just lost Q-Dot. So I was lost. Yeah. I was lost. Fuck winning. That didn't even matter when I, I mean, you know, it's hard when you know you speak to somebody every day and you realize you ain't gonna never speak to them again. That shit ain't, shit it, don't, it ain't effective the next day. It's effective when you ain't speak to them in a while. You're like, what the fuck? You know, I don't watch blogs. I don't do certain things. So it's like, you can say something smart about me and I don't even, really even care. But Q got to call me and be like, yeah, you know this nigga such and such said. Mm-hmm. He'll tell me the parts I need to know because you know I'm a high head. I've I been in... That's your drive. Right off the rip, I'm Frank standing you where you at. I'm ready to put all that. <laughs> yeah. Some shit ain't even worth that. So it was like me, Louis, that was a loss for me. I'm still finding a new me at the moment. I mean, because like me losing Dot, that shit was just like, you know what I'm saying? A life changing experience. It was a lot of a lot of stuff that he did that I didn't even realize how much I needed him. You know what I'm saying? A, so a, lot, like, a lot of people don't sometimes you think you it's fucked up, but you think you take things for granted and you don't realize it. When they say that, that that I really understood that meaning of you don't understand it until it's gone right then and there. A lot, a lot of people don't understand that you still be battling when you're taking people are dying. I did yeah, my know nephew of. Di- my nephew died. I'm and the you death. battled Charlie Clips, right? Right. How was that? Because your mom was I'm gonna be honest. That was a that was a win. That that was a day to to lose to win. What I'm saying is, my brother's son, him just coming home from jail. My brother's son, 13 years old, dying, and my brother being home not even you know three months, and this happened. The win is going to battle because I can keep my eye on you. You just came home. Mm-hmm. It would have been a double loss because I just lost my nephew. Now I'm going to lose not going to Clips and my brother going to do some bullshit. So that's a triple loss instead of one. You know what I mean? So I was like, you know what? Go do the battle. I could, I could pull it off. When I got there, Smack pulled the, uh, you know, he showed love, what, what he was supposed to do and, you know, put up a, up a picture, of, you know, the news car article, mm. he hug, hugging his moms and, and it made me emotional again. So me saying my rhymes, when I look at that battle, ain't none of that shit was said right until, until the third round came. But, 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 but if, if you're a fan, you know that. And people be like, yo, nah, yo, Rex, he could have done a better performance. But the thing is that now that you said that, right. now it all makes sense. Because like, math was here too. I was like, yo, like, you, 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 as a fan, you watch niggas. You study niggas. You be like, yo, wait a minute. Hold on. Nah, his energy ain't there. What's going? What's really going on behind closed doors? You know, you know like, against, against Shine, you know what my son said? He's 13. He said to me, yo, dad, I cut the battle off in the first round. I said, why? He said, because the whole round you had your hands behind your back. I said, well, what that got to do with that? You said, that ain't you. You active. You moving. Mm-hmm. You around. You slamming your hat. You throwing mm-hmm. water. Mm-hmm. You Energy. put your entertainer. So right? You had your hands behind your back. I don't want to see it. Or the moment. And then Sean pulled up to the crib. Because after that, we we, we talked. You know, we, got, we, we got it all out. We cried. We got it all out. Me and Sean got it all out. Sean pulled up to the crib to get me one day. 
And my son playing the game. He said, Uncle Sean, help me out with you. Shot pulled up and he said, yo, why you leave that mom? Yo, bro, I'm in the room getting dressed. This shit sound like Oh, Sean, grown. what's that mom? Yeah. What? Hell yeah, nigga. Before NWX. Pardon, 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 pardon Yeah, what? my nigga. Pardon me, pardon me. Yeah, pardon obviously. My, yeah. How did pardon NWX start? My, my, my fault. How did, how did Dot Mob start? My bad. I apologize. How did Dot Mob start? Dot Mob started, I had two partners. I had my man Den 10 and my man Oso. And I'm T-Rex. It was Den, Oso, and T-Rex. Oh, Dot. So we was the Dots. Okay. We wow. connected us. He was connecting the Dots. Then... Also went and did a bed and spa fit. This is how young we was. He went okay. to he didn't even go to jail. It was like a detention center for kids. Mm -hmm. Spa yeah, fit is like mini jail. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, any niggas, we was outside. So y'all y'all done been to Horizon and Spa. I mean, we done y'all ain't gonna know what I'm talking about. They've been outside. Also went there. And me and Den wasn't seeing eye to eye. So Den started doing the solo thing. And when Den did that, I was still screaming the dots. Mm. So I was like, damn, then I grabbed Dutch. And I had Nemesis with me. And we said, yo, we the dots. And then one day we was just like, yo, somebody said, yo, what the dots mean? We was at a meeting playing our demo. They said, what the dots mean? And we all looked at each other. <laughs> a side name, nigga, we ain't have a meaning for. He said, I think yo, it ain't an acronym. And we was like, yo, damn, dollars on time. I'm like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> and then my man just was in the car, God bless the dead, just said, yo. Dying over this shit. Okay. I, said, mm. I didn't even know that. Real talk. I said, oh, that shit got a range to it. Mm. And then a week later, he got killed by the police. God damn. He got hit 11 times in his back and the 12th one in his head. And the only thing that was left on his whole Yankee hat was blew off. And the only thing that was left on the side of his hat was D-O-T-S. That day we became the that day it solidified stamps. The stamp. We was dying over. Right. We was dying how, over how did K Sean get involved with the dots? K Sean used to always, always shoot at Mook. Mook lived up on Shine Block. Mook from downtown, but mm -hmm. like downtown uptown Harlem, we always have robberies. Yeah. I don't know why. It's always been like it that. This is what it is. Yeah. And Mook was already murdered, and Sean was on the rise. He used to always shoot at Mook, and Mook used to push him away like some little nigga. I didn't know this was the dude that Mook was telling me about, but my my little cousin Justin, shouts to Just, Just incredible. Um, he said, "Yo, I got a battle with a nigga at my school." My little cousin was nice as shit, but he was so good. I couldn't imagine a nigga his age beating him, like he was that good. Mm -hmm. So he came home. He said, "Damn, yo, this nigga might have got the best of me." I said, "Who?" He said, "His name is K. Shine." Excuse me, he said K. Sean. His real oh, name is the name okay. of the school. Okay. So I said, what? I said, I'm coming up there. I'm going to kill that nigga. When I went to his school, Sean played hooky that day. Slid off with some bitches. Back in, he married now. But that was he was in high school. You know his wife. Sarah, he ain't know you yet. <laughs> but um, Sean had played hooky. I said, so damn, he ain't there. It's just a coincidence. My other cousin, Just Blaze, little Just Blaze, mm -hmm. Got him with him when I get back to the block. But it's my man K. Sean. Sean, I want him to spit for you. I said, what school you go to Randolph? He said, yeah. He start going. Yo, I, I, he start going. Like, mm -hmm. When he start rhyming, I'm just looking like. Like, this the nigga right here. <laughs> this nigga remind me of me. It's a fact. Because when he rhyme, he don't give a fuck. And he ain't got a fan in the world. I done traveled around with him in different states, and it's just us. We ain't another nigga demographics. Sean like, nigga, fuck that mom. Nigga, he don't give a, that nigga don't give a fuck. So I see yo, why yo move? We got this. I got this new kid. I, I, Nim was battling the Fight Club. Sean was battling the Fight Club. Same mm -hmm. day. When we get there, Sean there already. I said, Mook, that's the kid. Mook said, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I Mook ain't wanna fuck with him. Sean was already shooting at him on the block. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So okay. Mook was taking that as disrespect. That. Yeah, like yeah. Well, young nigga shooting like he being disrespectful. When yeah, Sean yeah. was just like, nigga, I want mine and I'm gonna get it by any means. If, if it is, I, I gotta come at the nigga from Smack. Okay. And Mook was like, yo, I don't know, man. He a hot head. I don't really like him. I don't think it's nothing new. You know, I don't know. I said, man, fuck that. I'm gonna tell him. So we went at it. And you know, I, I'm gonna be honest. Ain't too many niggas in the world got more rhymes than me. I'm saying in the world, 
For real. Ain't too many niggas. It's a big fat. Out I heard me. you smoke Lo Lux before Smack. You smoke Lo Lux. That's my bro. Nah, man. nah, fuck out of here, nigga. That's still nigga. Be a bro. That's my bro, man. I don't, right? You know, you know, it's just you know. That's that's real like, shit. That sounds no like clout that's shit. true, but I don't want to put it out there. He that's said it himself, so we ain't. All right, so let's go with Little Lux. It okay. I right, thank you. <laughs> so from Sean, that, that's how we met Sean, right then and there. No, so I brought Sean to the hood. You know Sean beat everybody on my block, and my projects is full of rap niggas. That's nice. Sean walked through these niggas, got in the cab to leave. I called him back. Somebody want to bet five hundred? He came back, and beat him. We split up. He got in the cab and went to jail. He bailed out of jail. We bet we when we got him, he came home. He bailed, excuse me. He bailed himself out. Shams getting money. He was on the street. Young nigga though, like 14, I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. And Sean came home. On his way home, I'm calling him, I'm calling him, I'm calling him. And he finally pick up. Like, yo, I'm like, what up? I said, you got a battle right now. He said, where you at? I said, I'm on Hunt's. He said, I just bailed out of jail. I ain't even going home and shower. I said, Lions Den, 128th and Lennox. Sean pulls up. Does he battle Tay Rock? This is that battle one? Battle Goods that day. Goods, that okay. The day he's on Battle Goods. Okay, okay, okay. And that was the day they saw him Battle Goods. And then from then on, you know, he, he was dying already because he was with me. Okay. It wasn't really about what Mook said at the moment because I, you know, it's people that, if Murder could bring, Murder could push a button that I don't, I might not be 100% about. I and mean, if you want him to be mob, he mob. So, I brought him in and Sean actually stood up to what I you, you and Mook had a situation before like where y'all stopped speaking, correct? Right. So, From what you said. So y'all stopped speaking over what? Because as, as we're fans, we're like, when we don't see y'all together, as a fan, yo, what the fuck is going on? Like, we're upset. At the time, like I said, I was in a dark place. So, you know, I just lost. I just lost Q Dot. I just lost him. I just lost the chick I was dealing with, pregnant with my baby. Mm-hmm. I lost Quan and Quan in six weeks. Then Bog, then Hop, then O'Neal, then my nephew. You know what I mean? Then you know, it just a lot going on. It just, I lost twelve people in one year, and and it was only one of them that was a death. Like so, that wasn't natural causes. Mm -hmm. So how the fuck are you gonna retaliate on God? You know what I'm saying? So it was kind of putting you in a place to where it was like shit happening, shit happening, shit happening. It's like everybody that you like, speak damn. to. Everybody that you speak to on a daily basis, when you're going through something, when you need inspiration, when you might need a few, you fucked up, you might need a few dollars. When you might need, yo, he got to work for the lower number. All of that around you just drop dead. That shit is kind of like a, a weird feeling. It's like, what the fuck, am I next? And at the moment, I'm dealing with all of that. All of the niggas that I would, I done created or I done helped get further and did things for, it was now y'all time to give it back because I'm not really all the way where I need to be. And I felt like everybody was around. Right. It was but it was like everybody around, but ain't nobody with me. But you you created a link. All just aside, k used to look up to you before. Right. And I could tell like in that Hot 97, y'all did a freestyle together with Flex, right? Right. You was rapping, but it's funny because you was rapping, but you kept looking at him. Like it, it, it's like yo, I don't know. I study shit a lot. You know what I'm saying like, like he don't peep that, but like, 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 like you, 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 you was like, I yeah, I didn't peep that. Like like way. even even with, like, it's like you was so happy. Like like it's like it's Bravo. like you made it. Like yeah. it, like he made it. Like you made it for him. You get what I'm saying? It's like, like, like you, it's like you did it before. So now you created a lane for a nigga like K. Shine to be on Funk Flex. You feel it, what I'm it wasn't my first time. Yeah. Like, I remember bro, rapping. You, you, I remember you was rap happy for him. I remember rapping on Flex when there wasn't cameras there. I remember rapping on Flex when he was on the turntable. You know what I'm saying? Like, I went there with, you know, with the Dynasty. Or I, I was a part of Diamonds in the Rough, you know. Dynasty was us, of course. Of course, Jay and Damon them changed it to whatever, you know, whatever they wanted it to be after that. But that was our thing. We was the faculty. I mean, that was our team. We was the faculty. They changed. And then Jay changed it to the Carter faculty. But, you know. Okay. It is ha ha Harlem, Harlem niggas, they always have their fallouts. And we're not going to go around that. This is big facts. Oh. You and Sean, you and Mook, Cam and Jim Jones. Macy I can't even say Apple and Rich. Macy, no, hold on. I can't even say Apple and Rich. Uh, what you got to realize about Harlem niggas is it, it's either left or right. So it's kind of like um, Harlem niggas really don't, we don't look for no bullshit. We don't bite our tongue either. So 
a nigga ain't sugarcoating nothing for the next nigga if he feel he's wrong. And and that's that's where that'll go at. But you know, as far as me and Sean, me and Sean, and me and Mook, we learned from the Cams and Maces. Um, we learned from the Poem Riches. So we got a bag out of it instead of putting a nigga in the bag out of it. You know what I mean? Mm. And that's the reason. Yeah. And that's the reason that's why me and right that's the reason why me and Sean got up there and did it because we both two niggas that didn't give a fuck, and this was the only civil way for the family to stay family. Sean daughter is born on my birthday. Mm. His first kid is born on my birthday. No matter what, every time you look at her to give her joy, you got to think of me. So y'all got to be like this no matter what. <laughs> it's like the, the the stars align. Like I, it's, it's a respect line at the end of the day. Me and Sean wasn't speaking, but him and my son were speaking. How can we really beef? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you can never beef. That's... When my son was mad at him, he said, Uncle Sean, mm. why you love, you know? And Sean went crazy. Sean, I ain't leave no doubt. You wax, man. Yeah. Tell us, nigga. Yeah, 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 Sound yeah. just like that. <laughs> I see Sean, that nigga, that, yo, I see Sean, man. That nigga nine, man. That's how you feel. <laughs> I said, tell that nigga, man. Move, kick me out. I said, technically, Pete, you know, we call my son Pete, so I said, technically, Pete, he right. Move, kicked him out. You know, Sean, nobody stood. See, you stood with him, nigga. Fuck, tell him that. You stood. Yeah. I said, I did. I did. Why Mook kicked him out? Let's get let's get right. Mook kicked him out because when the whole NWX thing started, Sean came to me. He came to me because me and Sean was tight. Mm -hmm. yeah. Me and Sean hung out. It'll be me, Sean, and Mook. But you'll never really catch Mook and Sean. So me and Sean had the relationship. Mm -hmm. Me and Mook is the cousins. So I was kind of like the, you know, the thing mm -hmm. that brought all of that together. And Sean said to me, like, yo, I'm thinking about doing this joint with DNA and conceded. Cause it, it started. Conceded mm -hmm. was the inventor of NWX. Yeah, DNA said that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Facts. It was conceded. NWX. He said conceded came was really name. VX and NWO put together. Correct. This is the reason why it's hard mm -hmm. to bring up a meaning for what NWO, mm -hmm. NWX meant. Mm -hmm. They were too. It was the WCW's strongest crew, which was NWO, mm -hmm. and VX was the strongest WWF crew, and they put them together. That's mm -hmm. what NWO was. Mm -hmm. So it really was supposed to have been DNA and Shine against me and Charlie Clips. Oh. That was the first battle that was supposed to happen before that's, anything. That was the first two and two that was supposed that to That was supposed down. to happen. Okay. That didn't happen. They started doing two and two other people it made so much of an impact both of them kept doing it because they both did half of the work and it was more of a of a easier way to work because you feeding off somebody when you by yourself it's only your thoughts so even when you say something i don't like it still give me a, a insight on how to say it right mm -hmm. so it's a spark it's, it's an inspiration so it was easy for them now they, they running through shit and people are just like, yo, it's Sean. Sean coming out with NWX jersey. Sean coming out wearing, he wearing NWX. How'd you, you feel were, about that? I ain't like it. But is he wrong? At first, no, no, he wasn't wrong. He wasn't wrong. I do what you got to do. But that don't mean I got to like it. Yeah, okay. So, you know, you got to, that's where you agree to disagree. Mm -hmm. And then he did let us know. So it ain't like it was disrespectful. Oh, he he let y'all know what's going yes, on. Yes, let us know. You gotta respect so, yeah, that. Yeah, you gotta respect that. I'm respecting that. that. Yeah. You but that like means you're happy about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, but you're my brother. But you know, real talk, you and Mook, in a sense, should have been, been should have been y'all should have been the originators of that. The way it was moving, but I get what you're saying. I mean, things, you know, there's a timeline to, to life. You know you what know, I'm saying? It is what that's it is. A, you know, that's another thing I feel was given. Like I said, at the time. I was going through a lot. And I was probably in a place where I might have rubbed niggas wrong. Or it might have been just niggas' time to finally say, yo, you know what? We can be superior. Because it'd be like that. My whole life, I've been a leader. It's just been, that's just some shit that I was just came with me. So a lot of motherfuckers don't like it. And they looking like, oh, he being extra, or he doing this because he might be nicer, or he doing this because his buzz. When this is just me. 
So you might take you you taking something the wrong way. So it could have been something like Mook, like man, I ain't doing no motherfucking two on two with this nigga at this time. I ain't fucking. Cause when him and Calico really joined together, me and Mook just started speaking again. And and, and you know I had got calls about two on twos. Yeah, and it was like yo, if I ain't doing one with Sean, it gotta be Mook. Had, of honestly, it should have been Mook I first. Before Sean, I'm not gonna lie. Yo, the crazy part about it is, you know, me, me, I, you know, me and Sean, energy, we, we might click. Energy wise, you're right. I see. Me and Chemistry. Sean, I might, I see what you're me saying. and Sean might click better. Because Sean looks up to you. And uh, I wouldn't just say that's the reason. I just At say, one time, he might listen. At one time, of course, of he course, did. Of course, all right, my nigga. Yeah, definitely. But I wouldn't say that's the reason we click better. I say we click better because we both. Mook, my 10, my 10 is Mook 5. Oh, excuse me, Mook 10 is my 5. So when Mook is on 10, it's like, yo, I'm burn, murder, I'm not easy. That's your regular. Grown man, I'm right there regularly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So is Sean. So us right then and there, energy wise, we around the stage, we active. I see what you're saying. Mook is kind of like calm, but bars. Fuck you, being bars. Like, we, swag. Like we ain't got bars, nigga. No, no, no. That's I don't see no, y'all do that, no, nigga. He said he's calm. No, I got his calm bars, 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 but y'all got the performance with the bars. Him. I was talking to him. <laughs> I was talking to but him. Nigga, real talk. I meant like. But that's my you, man, you, you, you though. Just, you see, we're two and two, two. What you, you mean? Just, you just said. Yo, yo B, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you just said that me and Sean is active. Yes or no? Yes or no? You and Sean is active. What you know that? I said that. All right. All right, nigga. All right. But right? do you know? All right. Right. right? And you, all right. And you said Mook is more like he's not as. The energy he doesn't have is as high as yours. And Sean. you said with bars. He say he's swaggy with bars. Like he's say calm that, with bars. That's what he said. He's saying that. Say that. He say he's calm with bars. You have more battle than me, nigga. Your energy with bars. Say your energy with you bars. You gotta say that because I gotta and, correct it. Yeah, 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 yeah. My nigga, my nigga, what you mean? Yeah, yeah, you gonna be like, oh, yo, you agreed with homeboy <laughs> said, never, nigga. Yes, I'm telling you, nigga. You don't know how. You not looking at it like how you gonna look at it. They gonna say, yo, you agreed when he said Mook had bars and y'all didn't. He's calm with bars. Y'all are active with bars. Yes. You ain't say that. All right, I'm saying it now. Yes. Mook is calm with the bars. Yeah. Rex and Sean Mook is, is swaggy active with, with the bars. Well, y'all yeah, just ended you, you, right to for it. For one nigga, like right he got good hair, nice beard. You got to make sure <laughs> shit is right. You got a certain shit you got to ask these niggas clear. Yeah, <laughs> I feel you. Because they give you the light skin answer. <laughs> You need it. I want the. I want nigga, the, uh, the straight yeah, out answer. I'm straight. a Black Panther, my nigga. Oh, you know yeah, what I mean? We ain't changing that. Ooh, thank you. Yeah, ooh, ooh. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You still the light skin <laughs> answer. Still got to right, Why did you battle Sean? So we why ain't not? fight. So we ain't fight. Okay. I ain't going. I mean, shit. We was in the backyard. We the fort. But we ain't gonna we ain't gonna never give the world the satisfaction to ever see us at that point. Of course point. not. So I was like, yo, cool. If we can get twenty grand out of this shit, yeah, so there was let's get that instead yeah. of let's get that instead of some busted eye, some busted eyes and noses and shit. Cause that's where it's gonna go. We both could fight. We both was out of shape. <laughs> that shit would have went bad. She would have been bad. She would have been a long healing process. <laughs> yeah. But you know what's crazy? Like when you battled him, you seemed like you were sad to battle him, son. You seem like you ain't really want to do it, but just fuck it. You called me like a week before that crying when we wasn't even going to do the battle. It was too much money to not do it. Was there animosity there at the time? No. no. He changed. He called me. He called me, and um, it was something he heard. I was dealing with a health issue, and it was something he heard, and he didn't like it. He called me crying. And it was Hired. a fact? It was a fact? It was a situation? fact. Oh. So seven days later, there's certain shit I can't even say to you no more. Because mm -hmm. you, you show where you stand. You show when, when you, you cared in the, at a time when it wasn't a time. So now the anger, the anger that I, the, now my third round turns to my first. Mm. And I had my son with me. My son was supposed to jump in the battle. Oh, yeah, like a situation. Like set, mm -hmm. set up for him. I had a situation where I was making it the whole time battling shine. I had a, I had a, a, a tape I was putting out called Pito Pops. For my on my son's birthday, but one of the fans switched it and put Sean face. So it was like Sean was my son. Yeah. 
So I started reposting it. Yeah, okay. You it fed into it. All right. I fe- I fe- I, it was only All right. There, two and two. It was only right. It's part of the game. Game is a game, so, man. We saying, I was saying some shit that I would probably wouldn't have been able to take back afterwards. And then he reminded me where we stood. Because I was already in a dark place. I wasn't, I was in a place where it was whatever. You didn't give a fuck. But then he reminded me where we stood when he gave me that call. Because a nigga that don't care about you ain't going to give you the call right before saying, fuck 20 grand. You know how many nickels a nigga got to sell to make 20 grand? That's a fact. It's crazy. That's a, That's a fact. The thing is... um 2000. I just wanted to oh, say. He just know. <laughs> Thought process. For people, that don't, for people that don't know, talk about the honorable shit you do to save rapper car- these rappers' careers. Like, one of my favorites, Tay Rock. Because he became Dot Mob, one right? My... Yes or no? He yes. was Dot Mob? Okay. Definitely. And how was that situation with him? Because then you battled him. But he, like He battled Sean. He battled Sean, yeah. Him and Sean battled. You know, Mook kind of brought on the lines there, for one. Bring Tay? Yeah. Okay. So we, the, Mook the reason y'all, y'all ain't even seen him. Okay. Period. That's one move with him. Then he battled Shine, but after he battled Shine, he still was a nomad kind of. It was like he was left. No disrespect to Old Red, but one time he battled Old Red, and everybody walked out. Damn near. It was times when Old I, like, I seen Old Red battle. You're talking about Tay Rock. Yeah, I seen Old Red battle when they got a tattoo pile. Like, you know, like it was nobody for nothing. Old Red just wanted to rap, but he was getting those kind of opponents. And then Shine said, "Yo, know what? I'm gonna break you, sip him up." So Rock started screaming, "Sip him up." Dot mom. But Sean was fresh out of jail. Mm-hmm. Work release. His name is hot. He was fucking bitches. A mile, hundred miles a minute. He was running everywhere, fresh. He was he, he was getting the time he missed. When you when you know when a nigga go to jail at 24, they come home 24. Mm. It's like they missed that time. They missed that time. He could have did a three piece, four piece, whatever. Mm-hmm. He Thanks. he went to jail young. He came home young. So Sean was still on the run. Like man, he wasn't worried about running. Zip him up. Mm-hmm. It really was a slogan for him. It became a company. Mm-hmm. And then Rock just would start saying, "Yo, zip him up." Yeah, yo, Rock, is you die? I'll be like, "Yeah, I'm die." So I shows up to a battle with Rocks. He battling in New York. You know, Sean is on work release. <laughs> he can't come to events. That's after a certain time. You know what I mean? He gotta be in. So I did it, I did it for him. I went and supported rock. And Oh, Sean is dot mob at this time too. Right. Same time. So I went and supported rock for Sean. But he had dot mob bars, a bunch of dot mob bars. Now I'm hosting a battle. I walked off from smacking when it stood behind rock now. I'm hyping rock up edging the moon. So now the cameras come afterwards, rock one, it was rock and Cortez. Rock one. Oh yeah, definitely. They started aiming, <laughs> they started leaning towards, you know, he dot mob, he dot mob, but he was like, yeah, I'm dot mob. But he was repping. I took him in. So Sean was coming like, fuck it, yeah, yeah, I don't care. Was he sleeping on your couch? <clears throat> no. That's cap. Nah. I, I'm, I'm just going by what I remember from back in the day. Like, that was floating around. Like, yeah, y'all he, took he him in. He answered it right there. Nah, we took him in. Was he sleeping or not? Rocking him on my couch. Okay. Nah. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> no, no, no. Matter of fact, it's, it's not that I'm trying to play him, but I'm just trying to do the history with y'all. Like, Wait, we talking about Cortez. I put Cortez on the court, on the couch and on total slaughter. I don't know if you had that mixed up. No, 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 no. This was like... Cause, cause you was, cause I, as I seen on on YouTube, you was fifteen minutes of fame. You saying like, yo, Rock is like my little brother. You feel what I'm saying like, and right? He's, and he's done things that wasn't honorable, as you said, right? I'm only going by what you said, right? I was stand it, on that. All right, he was he's doing things that wasn't honorable. So it's like, if he was, if he was, I gonna say you said you wasn't sleeping on somebody's couch, but yeah, I took him in. Whatever, niggas from Baltimore, my nigga. Let's get let's get to that. He's from Baltimore, right. and now he's accepted in New York because of y'all niggas, right? Right, all right. And niggas gotta understand that, right? You said that you took trips. You took you you went to his baby shower. Took and drove yeah, in, took, right? All right. Nah, nah, real talk, my nigga. Nah, I took a better present than smack. You said you went to his baby shower. <laughs> like, nah, right. that's real, nigga. What? <laughs> Yo, nah, you, no, no, it's just the way you said no, it. When you taking yeah, yeah, yeah. taking a three hour ride? Yeah, yeah. Nah, that's that's fine. When you taking a three hour ride to pop up on a nigga you don't know? 
Yeah, yeah. You, Not on that level like that. You're yeah. building a bridge. Yeah. You showing yo, we we really with so you. That, so now yeah. I'm showing you where I stand. But, yeah. But you're part of my shit. That's a fact. I wasn't cave. I didn't even have to be here. I wasn't cave gang. He was that mob. Feel mm -hmm. me saying? Mm -hmm. So I didn't have to do none of that shit. I did it because that mob, this shit is a family. Like when when I say dying over this shit, it means something different to me nah, from what I like, went through. My man, so, I think he was running with that mob, my man Pop. Which Pop? Um, paper over. Paper over is running with money ass. Money have, he's money have, right, but right, shit, right. people might as well say I got yeah, it. I, yeah, I just yeah, yeah. paper the other night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me and paper yeah, supposed to do a tape together too. Shout out to paper yeah, over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But when you say not being honorable, is that what you meant by that? No. What I meant, what I meant by it is, if Mook, I write you dot mom. You seen Sean do something else? NWX. You start doing something else. Caveman, right? Gun titles. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. But Rock called me too. Yo, me and Surf think about doing. I said, get your money. Never gonna stand on that nigga money. They start repping gun titles. They doing their thing. I'm supporting them the same thing. Mook and Surf going at it. On their own time. And that was a conflict of interest because Surf you a nigga, but, Mook, but you dot mark. You just started fucking with him. You really Mook and Surf going at it top. They heated. It's heated. Okay. Drake is talking about it. And then Rock tweets something like, I don't give a fuck who it is. Nobody could beat my brother Surf. Okay. You, getting you brought involved. him along. You getting too involved. You, you getting brought too him. Involved. Hold on. You brought him along. You overstepping your motherfucking boundaries. You brought him along. You went to his baby shower and you said that you. <laughs> no, no, you, no, you don't get it, bro. It's because it's real it. shit, my nigga. Real talk, nigga. You gotta, you gotta right, understand. Right, right, real right. talk, nigga. Just, you said you smack and new new nails was there, right? That's it. All right, and that's respectable from a nigga from Baltimore, nigga. Well, no, New York niggas accepted that. There wasn't no surf there. Wasn't I'm not exactly. It wasn't no Briz or Steam. No, right? Briz was down up too. I gave Briz to, to, to twerk. To, um, to, um, to, um, I said twerk, can't. Yeah. Twerk, that means you might got to come to the family. Um, exactly. I gave him the rock. What, what, what's the situation with this chain shit? Like with, with you and Rock before y'all battled. What is the situation Rock, like? You, uh, you, and he ran on y'all niggas, right? Uh, right? That's what he did. I won't say he ran. He ain't fight, but he ran. All right, so what's that? <laughs> what's, what? <laughs> I, I said it wrong. He didn't fight, but he didn't run. So he, he stood, stood there and watched? watched? You might as well run. He should have ran. ran. <laughs> he ran, is did what you, you said. I'm, I'm be yeah, real. I'm going to transfer you your go. energy from what you said from what I seen on TV. I'm saying, I felt that it was equivalent. To run him. All right, nigga, yeah, nigga. But saying ran. I'm a nigga that means okay, what you okay, say. Uh, what you mean. Uh, uh, you know what I mean? Okay, okay, so okay. a scrap out went down. We was going to a battle event. Rock. I got Rock on the Queen. You know my man Vague? Yes. I saw the best friend goals. Mm -hmm. Me and Vague, it's my brother. My brother, my son's with 20 some years. Me, Vague got Queen of the Ring. Queen of the Ring started from King of the Ring. Queen of the Ring blew up bigger than Queen of the Ring. He stopped King of the Ring, so now he's bringing us in to battle females. Mm -hmm. I get to rock. I got rock on the card. You know what I mean? I got daylight on the card. Anybody that's dot mob, I got. I got the bag. Mm -hmm. Now it's rock on the card. I'm headlining, but rock on the card. Right, rock pull up to the crib. I got the jewelry on. I got my dot. I got a deal dot mob. I got the dot mob chain on, mm -hmm. and I got the TOD chain on. Dollars on time. Never think me and my cousin lighter got. Um, I got that joint on. So I see a rock, take this. I put it on him. So I put it on him, boom, boom. Rock goes on rock battles. With the chain on. Rock wipes the floor, Charlie. Mm -hmm. It's my turn to go battle. When I'm going to battle, I'm coming to the stage. My brother and a female has this has a dispute. He goes, yo, I'm not with I'm not in the hating bitches. Go get a nigga. Mm -hmm. She comes back with her brother. I know her brother. I intervene. I'm like, yo, that's my brother. That shit ain't about now. We gonna leave him alone. We both go our own ways. I go to the back. They're like, all right, cool. They spring us up. We and BB Kings. So they take us to the back dressing room. When I'm coming back out to the ring, her brother is approaching my brother on that sh on that bullshit. He click, click. My brother, my brother, click click. Boom. Mm -hmm. 
homeboy approached my brother swung. When he swung, I swung. Well, everybody would have swung shit when we left. Mm -hmm. We left. Battle done. You still got my chain. T-Rock. Okay. We we ran niggas out of the spot. So okay, so as you fought during that situation, where was he? Where was that man at with your chain on? Watch him. This but is he's before the Briz. But he's dot mob with a dot mob chain on. This is before the Briz. You know I respect you because you never talk about this shit. Unless a nigga really now real talk. Unless a nigga asks you, because I'd be like, yo, what the fuck? Are you? Well, he's still speaking about it respectfully. No, 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 no. You don't. You I understand? But I'm saying like. In a battle rap culture, like you never be like, yo, this nigga's, you you never like expose Rock's hand unless a nigga really super asked you. Like you kind of forced to do it because we asking you here on the podcast. But I never really see you go out on your own and be like, real talk, I think Rock is cap, nigga. That nigga did this, nigga did that. You don't do that. You kind of still be like, yo, I really love that nigga and my little brother. I still do and love what, a nigga, so it's hard for me to to say I want to see something done to a nigga, or for me to think a nigga is as much of a man that I am. Cause I, it's like you know I wouldn't be special if a nigga was what I am. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And that's just how I look at it. So every Sorry. situation that get handled, it get handled different. So I ain't expecting you to move how I'ma move. Cause I'm Superman. That's how I look at it. I don't give a fuck if you juggernaut. I'm Superman. I don't. Mm -hmm. That's where I'm at. So I'ma take my I'ma take my wins with my losers. I'ma treat a lion like a lamb. I don't know if you the same. If you're not, I gotta respect you as for what you are. I just know what level to deal with you off from here because I brought you in as an artist. I ain't bring you in as some gangster. I, nigga. I brought you as a, in as an artist. That don't mean that you gotta have the street criteria that I that I have, and I and be an artist too. So it's like cool. I right, I know where you stand at. We had it done. We had to get under control. We wasn't bleeding. We wasn't cut. Somebody else was cut. Somebody else was hit with a bottle. We walk, we laughed on our way out. So now it's like I see him. He call yo, I'm gonna bring you the joy. You know, what I, mean? I got we do die, mom, man. That's shit about nothing. Me ain't running chasing you for no chain. Mm -hmm. Now, Mook was wrong too. Because Mook was there for this fight. No. Oh, okay. But he battled goods, and Mook publicly gave an opinion like I think goods won. The fuck you doing, murder? He died, mom. This is when Goods battled Tay Rock. And You're wrong too, murder. Cool. So Tay Rock did do some shit in the surf time, but we grown ass men. We playing tit for tat. Feel me? Mm -hmm. Now, murder. When murder go back, it's hard for me to say something because you opened the soil, Rock. So I couldn't say nothing to neither really neither party. Now I kind of just was like, yo, you know what? I saw this. I saw this. I saw this before. Mook and Sean went at it. Mm -hmm. I stood with Mook. Me and Sean start beefing. Mm -hmm. Mook stepped out of it. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of like... Or... Sometimes your loyalty could be a default. Mm -hmm. You could be loyal. And a motherfucker could be knowing your actions. They could do this for you to do that. They could know that, that that's you. So sometimes your loyalty can be used to force. So I don't really believe in loyalty. I believe in honesty because what don't change is the truth. You can tell your wife, like, yo, I'm loyal. You, you ain't homeless, right, bitch? The lights is on, right? There's food in that fridge, right? loyalty. <laughs> Me fucking another bitch ain't loyal. But she can feel like, all right, the food is, the food is it's food in the fridge. The lights is on. The rent's paid. But you ain't loyal for fucking another bitch. That's opinionated. The truth don't change. Yeah, you killed the man. Yeah, you killed. Him. That's gonna be that forever. It's not gonna be nah. I didn't kill him. Yes is yes. No. So I believe in honesty. I don't believe in loyalty because I mean that shit is opinionated. You African for real? <laughs> yo, this is stupid. Yeah. Yo, yo, you, 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 you. In second grade, we had a fight over that shit. African <laughs> booty scratch was the worst thing you could have said. Yeah. <laughs> Nah, just I'm just saying the the, the thought process with that. As you well. battled you battled Rum Nitty the second time, and I think you said one line. I think you won the battle with that line. <laughs> Keep well, it with you. you say, "Yo, what they be saying? What you gonna say? I'll be recycling verses." They recycle the same verses at funerals too. Exactly, they recycle the same verses at funerals too. I said, you know what? Rex too old. 
Rex <laughs> two one. Cause you know what? Because it was honesty. Like you know what? Sometimes you do be doing that shit. You recycle a verse. I'd be like, what does this mean do? But well, fuck it, sound fire. I'll fuck with it. <laughs> Yo, but tell you, you know what, what it is though. And you gotta. I'll be real with you. The crowd, like, like the crowd, the crowds now be like a bird ass crowd now, my nigga. Like they don't listen. Yo, if you ever look at it, it'd be the same two hundred people in the front. <laughs> nah, yo, I was like, yo, I'm, I'm, I, yo, I'll be looking at it. I'm like, they yo, don't bro, fuck with this. Yo, bro, when you go to that building, that wasn't in that building. But when you go to that caffeine building, you look at it. We in that little circle. Same shit. <laughs> same look at it. Same. It's just different positions because this is an invite only event. Oh. So, I might not know y'all. It's my first time here battling. I'm just meeting y'all. But I did this 10 times. Y'all been here 10 times. So On the 11th, yeah. nigga, we damn near brothers now. Yeah, we used to this. Rex, an uh, old vet, just coming back. And we don't know that, nigga. We standing with you. All right, cool. We standing behind that, nigga, but we cheering for you. And that's how some of them events be. I just had to get at Rum Nitty ain't look up to you before. He had to. All right. You remember a nigga named Rich Dollars? Damn, we gonna do that to Rich. Nigga, I swear to God, the nigga raps just like you, son. Rich? I put that on my two kids, nigga. Get the fuck out of here. Yo, you was like, like, you know how you rapping and then you pause and you come back? He does the same thing, nigga. But he Rich, does, nigga. But Rich don't got gear switching like that. Rich stay at the same pace. I put that on my I'm fucking fast. life, He's nigga. Not on your level, but my baby, man. You know what I mean? I put that on my. I was like, I was like, I'm next time I'm here, I'm gonna pull that back up. Pull it, bu pull it up, nigga. I'm, I'm telling you, up. nigga. You pull that up. You next battle, time. you battle young ill, right? This, this is why, this is why the, the, the young he niggas. He battle young ill too. Like I said, you battle young ill, right? <laughs> Like, I, like I'm saying, like I'm saying. That's a good hat. I can't Stick know this one. Damn, you can't know this one. No, listen, listen, one. listen, right? You battle Young one. Ill, right? Y'all was in, where was y'all at? St. Louis. St. Louis. Isn't he from St. Louis? Yeah. They were so trying to go against you so bad. And, yes, they were. And and they couldn't do it. It was like, it was like this. Then it was like, nah. I, I made like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you did it. It was like, nah. Yeah, I made up the intro. I was getting chopped. I made up my, um, my intro slogan, the um, Roman Balls right? I right before that we eat hot wings and nigga goods going. I was like, yo, look at her ass, yo. This bitch ass was so fat. I dropped the hot wings, everything on my dot my shirt. Yeah. I got ten minutes to get on stage. I said, Goods, I know you got a shirt for me. Some. Yeah. He said, It's an extra large. At the time I was a medium, nigga. Yeah. I said, extra large. Remember, goods was fat. I said, mm. give it to me. I said, damn, we wearing a grown man ball shirt. I'm like, I'm sucking dick. In Harlem, in Harlem, it's, it's like, they don't play that. it's hard for a nigga to support another nigga. Like, yeah, yeah yo, they don't, yo, you supporting a the nigga, they damn near say you sucking dick. You sucking that nigga dick for the find that shit. Like, it's, 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 I'm against it now and I'm grown, but that shit, that shit will fuck up your, your thought process. So at the time, I still was in that mind state. So I'm like, nah, I gotta say something. Like, I'm wearing a shirt. Say word to your mother, you came up with that slogan right then and there. Word to my son life. Damn, son. If you look at it, <laughs> if you look at it, when I look at the ill battle, I say it's sloppy. I say, grown man ball is something you gotta deal with. All them collaborated, fabricated, bum ass lines he about to say ain't gonna equal up to this real shit. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I didn't know it. It was only I was just putting it together yeah. right there just yeah. to get into my rhyme mm -hmm. for have a reason why I had this on. Mm -hmm. Cause remember when I'm like, yo, wait, the fans gonna say the fans mm -hmm. was gonna say, yo, oh, he's GMB down. He's goods, little man. Mm -hmm. I made the slogan bigger than goods. Yeah, nigga, you was you rap before goods. Nigga, they ain't gonna do that to but you. But this is how they paint pictures yeah, yeah, in I the culture. So there's just certain shit you just gotta just know how to go about them. And I knew it. So I just was like, all right, I'm gonna say something. I did it. And if you look at it, I would have never said it again. I had a, I was on Battle America tour. I was battling G Soldier like a week later. They put Young L out the next night. So Young L was on a million like two days. Like that mm -hmm. no lie, I never had a battle to do what that did. But that damn. fast. And it was on a battle. It was no lie. It was it was at like a million, damn near two million, and they took it down and put it back up because it wasn't monetized. It wasn't making no money off it. Oh, okay. And it's at five million now, so that shit damn near is like a seven piece. So long story short, I go back to what I was saying. I'm like, yo, I'm gonna say it. So I said the shit. Boom. Now I'm battling G Soldier, and I get there, 
And they're like, yo, Rex is on you. I'm like, yo. A nigga in the crowd said, grown man bars. I said, something he got to deal with. And just start saying it. If you look at yeah. it, you can go back to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I said it a little sloppy again. Nobody, nobody never done that, though. Like, you being somebody else's hometown, and they was, yo, they was going so hard to try to not like you, but you forced them. Like, nah, nigga, I have bars. I'm lyrical, and I have but performance. You, but you, it's, it's about being able to, um, um, at, at the spot, to be innovative at the spot. It's like, my wife said that shit to me all the time. She'd be like, yo, you're so fucking, like, like, Impulsive. Right now, you could be like, yo, them Legos is going to help us in the kitchen, and you will really buy the Legos. And get home and be like, what the fuck I bought these Legos for? Mm -hmm. <laughs> he, my, my brother just did that shit to me at the 99 cent store last night. You don't need that shit. Bring that shit back. But that's just me. So I'm like, grown oh, man boss. I mean, and I said, them niggas was like, something you got there with. And I'm just looking like, no matter how many of these fabric in the lines, you want I'm like, yo, this shit. Let me try it again. Next stop was Vegas. Yo, cool, man. They start saying it again. I said, oh, this is it. Yeah. This is it. And I always, I always wanted, I always admired, God bless the dead, Tech Nine. Because he used to always start off. P H I, yeah. I you know mean, I mean, oh, matter of fact, he ain't started that. -E, he start, he start spelling his man name out, Wayne Ave. Uh huh. He start spelling Wayne Ave out. Yeah, you know I mean, y'all motherfuckers get it right, Wayne Ave. He used to always start like that, and I admired it. And I'm like, yo, that shit is dope, cause I always end with this nigga dead, murder, and with easy. So I was, it's good to have an ending. Mm -hmm. It's like your outro or something. But this nigga came in with an intro. Mm -hmm. And it builds momentum because when you dare, even if they're not fucking with you, they might say your slogan. Yeah, right. Facts. So when they say your slogan, it's confidence. It's just giving you that um, sometimes yeah, when you man, need let's it. Let's go. So when I start feeling that shit, I just ran with it. And that started from the Young L battle. Shout out to Young L. The um, what 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 what's what's best one round of all time? The people been I I I, I told a couple niggas say like, real talk. We got T Rex coming up here next. They like a oh, word. Real talk. This is what they want me to ask you. What's up with the C's? Are yeah. you, are you, they say in your crib now. You say in your crib. The people want to know when were you crib? When did you start? 1999. Oh, because they there's the talk is like it just happened. Yeah, now. that's how they they're talking to me. Like how now you, oh, you're now? turning low. You and then knowing you, if you were crib before, you would have been saying that in your arms. Nah, because I was trying to get that more famous. What the fuck I'm going to get the Crips famous for? Snoop and already did They're that. already famous. <laughs> I, I ain't going to get no money when you say Crip. Okay. I ain't, I ain't going to do that. So at, at the same time, too, I, I'm from I'm from Harlem. So I'm from a population that's overpopulated by Bloods. Bloods. Yeah, so it wasn't blood. cool to say you was Crip either. We had our own crew. We was L and W. We was little niggas wildin'. We was big in Harlem. We was beefing with Lux and them. Lux and them was too deep. We was beefing with them. But when the blood epidemic came, 1996, when Fox and the Bloody Fox and, and, and Giz and them came, mm -hmm. everybody that we had burgundy flags, everybody switched to the Bloods. I ain't agree. Latik was a nigga named a nigga named Latik, big crip. He was shooting at all the Bloods. They fed him. I like that lot moved. I said, no one, I'm crip. Wasn't even grip yet. Just, just, just to feel like. Then the nigga was like, "Oh, you, oh, he really crip." And niggas was like, "Man, nah, he ain't crip." He like, "Oh, cause, yes, I am, nigga. I'm crip. What happened?" And from that day, I, it went, it went from there. I mean, June from her knife, I ran under June, and them niggas had their own little thing going. It wasn't connected to the West Coast. Okay, I am now. None of them niggas, none set. of these they East Coast niggas set. connected to the West Coast. Nigga. I am no. I decided, I decided. I mean. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't gonna toot my own home, but I just had Big U on the hot twelve. That's a fact. We, we've seen. We've, I've, I've done this. So oh, you know, Big U was there. Okay. You know, so where certain niggas might, might, might question something. Question yourself, then. Okay. Question yourself. You ain't questioning me. Fuck, I got answer to another nigga for. It's the biggest neighbor in the world, right? Fuck, I'm gonna answer to another nigga for, man. This shit here ain't to be. So this shit here, this shit to be sold, not to be told. <laughs> And this shit uh, ain't nothing, ain't, ain't, nothing that, ain't no politics that's for the internet or a really a podcast for a nigga to really, to really 
to dig deep in that in that part of the world. But let a crip nigga come to me and tell and act like they gonna come and question me or uh, set and all that. What's 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 next for T Rex? Who you battling next? If you know, I'm not you. sure. Okay, I'm not sure. I'm gonna be honest. I just want to get in a little better physical shape. Okay, I was out of breath my last time on stage. I ain't never been like that. And I wait once. I think I get to Bill Collector. I was a little out of breath. My performance was great, but but you worked the Bill Collector. Yeah, but I was out of breath. I don't like that. Okay, so it's something you mean. He's like, you never stop learning. I still, right. I want to get better and better. I don't want to get worse. Okay. I don't want to give a nigga a reason to say nothing. Okay. You know, niggas like, yo, Rum Nitty beat him or yo niggas did that. But then I, I just saw, I saw a blog yesterday, right? Anymore, I saw a blog yesterday where they said Rum Nitty had a ghostwriter. Oh, wow. And they said he played some shit or showed like receipts. As far as battles, or you mean on some music? The, the, when he battled him. When he battled me. Oh, wow. He showed wow. receipts from bars from he that. He spoke him the first time. Spoke him the second time, too. Lyrically. I will give it to you, <laughs> but I'm talking about the way these the way these new crowd is now. I agree. Performance and all the shit. It's other they'll give it to him. But like I said, you've won the battle of that line. I agree. That's a fact. I agree. I I think Rum was great that night. I just feel like you know, it wasn't the Rum I was used to seeing, but it wasn't the Rex you was used to seeing. So when a nigga say I might have lost, I kind of respect it too because I wasn't 100 percent as far as health. Lyrically, I think I dogged them, but that ain't that ain't the whole game. When is the last time you think you've been a hundred percent? That's a good question. I haven't been a hundred percent in a while. Last time I was hundred percent was probably um, tea time. I I liked you and Bill, Bill Collector a couple years ago. You, you you worked them. I was fat though. Yo. Welcome to New York City, my nigga. <laughs> I got it. Yeah, but my my style, that don't help my style. I kind of got a rapid, a rapid flow. So if I get right to the fourth bar and I got to go, it takes all the info out of the punch. You know and, and, and is that, with all due respect, is that from a health problem? Yeah, I had sleep apnea. Okay. Well, I still got sleep apnea. I got sleep okay. apnea. So I had to pause. I had to get a surgery where they take pause again. You know, we from the city. We got to pause. Stop, my nigga. We ain't got nah, to do all that pause shit. Niggas got married, got kids. We can fuck out of here, my nigga. We, we, got, we got to pause. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. Ain't <laughs> but um, I had to get my tonsils paused, my adenoids removed because I had sleep apnea. So, you know, my okay. heart stopped in my sleep, a bunch of shit. But this is, I'm 100 pounds bigger than I'm supposed to be. Okay. So that came from that, that, and fuck with your breathing. My tone, like the tone of my voice changed, period, too. Like, that's the reason why I ain't did a lot of music. Mm -hmm. It's because I don't really like it. It's a little raspier. It sounds like a more of a growl on certain shit. Mm -hmm. It bother me because when I get around battle niggas and I have a regular conversation with them, I be kicking it and it be regular. Then when they get on stage, they be like, "Rex man here, yeah." Like, what the fuck? Yeah. So when I heard my voice, I'm like, wait, I don't want it to sound like I'm trying to do. Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna stay you. away from. I stayed away from just music period until. I'm like, man, I just called it. I, mean, I, I got that shit on my phone. My chart. Text my doctor, like, man, what the fuck is going on with my voice, man? Like, I got you. It was like, you give it a few weeks. I had to, I had the surgery like eight days before I battled Easy to Block happened. So I was I was in pain battling that nigga. But yeah. it wasn't no excuses for it. I knew what I had to do. I knew I accepted the bag. So what the fuck? I'm gonna not show up. He was he was what happy. He was happy he battled you. You should be, on shit. A, no, no, on a low, like, he was like, like he was like, yes, like, uh, I, f I finally get the battle rest. No matter what he's doing now, right. on the low, that nigga was very grateful, as he should be. As he should be. I agree. As he should be. He's Every a cool nigga, too, man. After a while, he, he was respectful. He was respectful the whole time. He ain't he never, you know, a lot of niggas take their shots at you. There's a difference when you like, yo, I'm, I fucking kill you. Mm. I'm you better than that. you. Yeah. But it's how you go about it. A nigga be like, nigga, all right, where Rex at? I'll fucking kill you. I respect that. But when you overstepping, I'm like, man, fuck that nigga. That nigga pussy. Oh, Whoa, you start, dragging it. Now you're starting to take this shit to somewhere else. Because <laughs> oh, even though I know I'm getting a check for this, what about the niggas that ain't getting a check that's with me that feel like when you say shit like that, that yeah. is something else? We're not doing that. But yeah. it's niggas like that with you too. Mm -hmm. So I know not to cross them lines because I know it can happen to me like it's going to happen to you. But just know it's definitely going to happen to you, you. <laughs> playing with me. Yeah, I want yeah. you to know that. Like, it's going to happen. 
Yeah. We don't move too deep for no reason. We dead, nigga. Everybody that um that come here, the rappers, you know what I'm saying, they leave us some. They leave us with something. Will you leave us with a sixteen? Are you able to do that? If not, it's all good, baby. Sixteen? So, yeah, sixteen. Well, yeah, cool. Six? yeah, sixteen. Beat no beat. Where y'all you went? Nah, no beat. But you nah, do nah, whatever no, you want to no, do. No, you feel you, you, you want to go past the team? This is before the smack no camera. Beat. You heard? No beat. What you mean? Uh, like like we had the option the of a beat? <laughs> oh no! Nah, oh, 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 y'all ain't got an option no. of a beat. Yeah, nah, there ain't no beats. I mean, I remember one time I was in high school with a nigga. I mean, we won't <laughs> <laughs> he was making beats out of the lunchroom table. You ain't got to do all that. Yo, yes. remember that? Yeah. <laughs> That's where it started. It's I give y'all 16, though. You know what I mean? We appreciate it. No job. I give my son like a street allowance. They said there's money out on the West. We going to see about it. Called the studio to trap. We was producing ounces. Me and Khan took the Yay West. They couldn't beat the prices. It was looking like they legalized it. The dope was a nine and a half, but it came in sneaker boxes. Had a Toyota Corolla, then I equinoxed it. <laughs> Nemo went and got a farm. I wait till they see what I get. It was hard for me to lead the projects. I need the profit, but feds come when they greedy about it. That money good. They're gonna send it to me. I ain't gotta check about it. That shit there, that shit come like it's direct deposit. Still got old school leather products that ain't left the closet. It's old school to you, but has some respect about it. This game kind of changed, it ain't safe to play. These niggas tough, they say they toll in a gangster way. Nigga, if you toll, it ain't the gangster Thanks. way. As soon as you toll, you gave your gangster way. Nigga, you made the case, they ain't no Nathan. All they know was homie head was split on the pavement. Went to the store to see the cameras, to see some faces, but it was glitches, so guess what, they got Nathan. You try to out-talk an agent. They're going to use against you everything that you're saying. And they say it. They tell you, I ain't shoot them, nigga, they did. Now you rush in their crib. And they be like, they ain't shoot them, they did. Now y'all see what they did? They gave up too much information. You ain't supposed to say shit. Supposed to talk to the lawyer there at your arraignment. That's how you beat the cases. Shell catch on the joint, so I catch all the cases. So I don't get no cases. I don't deal with Nate. Man, look, wait, I ain't worried about the judge on the cases. Worry about Nemo with the judge in your basement. When he bang the hammer, they gonna judge with your face, man. I don't play no games. Ain't no judge when I, man, look, all of my niggas dangerous. Ain't none of these niggas playing. Die for talking hot, but I mean that shit you're saying. Now you ain't live, cause on live, you left your living location. Now you need funeral home arrangements. Okay, I get you a nigga's heart. I'm pacemaking. Put a bad boy in the church. May singing. Care about how hard you hit when it's thing swinging. Dot mob hanging. Neighborhood gang banging. Uh, Easy. Dots, Easy. nigga. Dying Easy. over this Dying shit, over this my shit. nigga. I know what's up. Before, before we head out, I just, you know, I just want to say, son, you know, rest in peace to um, Young Dolph. Rest in you peace to Young Dolph. Fact. Rest in peace. I got a chance to meet Dolph. Shout out to Dolph, man. He was a good, he was a good spirit. You know what I mean? I just want to see, being you from Harlem, what's just your take on people who make it out? Do we stay out? Do, um, we, do, we, do we come back? Should we come do back? We, Yo, I'm going to be honest. And, I'm going to be honest. my love from a distance. Yeah. I'm going to be honest. You know that, that, that's something that I look at and it, it bother me because I'm too comfortable in the hood. So it's just like, do you know how many motherfuckers that was too comfortable in the hood? That made me think about Stack. Yeah, rest I mean, in peace. Stack. Stack, that was a friend of mine. Yeah. Then it made me think of Chink. Then, you know, now it's the Dolphs. You know what I mean? And, and yeah. you know, and the list just goes consistent. on. It's like, yeah. how the fuck can we come back and show y'all niggas that we still fuck with y'all and then y'all give us this? But then we got to think about the niggas that we did something to, too. Or the niggas we might have put some money to have. You might be the nigga that sponsored the guns and they know that. Mm -hmm. yeah. And they see you. And you gonna be the bigger look for them too. So it's like, I mean, we gotta think of that too, because sometimes we feel like, nigga, this is where we from. We ain't scared of shit. But being <laughs> being able to make it out, I think sometimes we need to have somebody that we can send to do certain things. Though, bro, because when you make it to the next level, nigga, you become a next plate right. on that level. You come to a, I mean, to a lower level, nigga, you can become a bigger plate. Or oh, you was just somebody that was just an op. Now you a plate, you some fame. You gonna, we gonna get some money when we get you. We might get but even when you showing love, on isn't it always it's always something because it's always somebody that's envious. But why? It's always something. I don't. I ain't got the answers for that. You know what I'm saying? Cause I don't really deal with envy. You make it out. It's always yo. 
he'll come around, it's, you'll hear something. Oh, yo, he's pussy. Yo, I'm gonna tell you the ill about oh, it. Yo, 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 when yo, you, just when you make it, oh, when yo, you, he's just this. When you make it out, you ain't made it out till you act like you make it out. Your actions gotta be like you made it out. You know what I'm saying? Carry yourself. You can't be that made it out and you coming back. Put the little chicken head bitch in the cab from the projects. That's coming to eat the dick up. I mean, because I'm going, I'm, I'm going to deal with them. There's too many pretty bitches. There's too many pretty bitches that's men. I'd rather deal with, 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 with Roscoe or Rasheed, little sister that I went to school with yeah. that I know is a girl because there's too many of these pretty made-up niggas. Mm -hmm. It's so crazy. That's going to come and try to do, act like she is. And before I can wake up knowing that I did some shit like that, I'm going to do, I'm going to knock you off. So I'm gonna throw it all away anyway. So I'd rather go to the pro. I'd rather deal with this. I'm gonna send. Let me. Yeah, let's send Laquan to the East. Uh, the Uber. <laughs> yeah, let, yeah, let's send Laquan to the Uber. Hood shits is showing love, my nigga. Yeah. I, yeah, I'd rather deal with. I'd rather deal with that. I'd rather deal with the yo. yo that bitch lying. That bitch might lying you. I'd rather, I'd rather deal with that. Yeah. Than be in the bed with him. Yeah. <laughs> that ain't happening. All right. That ain't that, man. Well, yo, Listen, we appreciate you, shit. man. We appreciate you coming through. Oh, man. Let know what's up, man, man. Big legend. I hope I set the tone. Nah, of course. you definitely set More the tone. More than did that, my definitely man. Definitely set the tone. More than did yo, that. Yo, can I do the intro for the, for the, for the, for the show? Yeah. yeah. If you, yeah if you How long say. I got to send it? What you mean, bro? It ain't no timeline. Time whenever you, whenever you, get, whenever you I, got it's that. It's Friday. Y'all have it Sunday, man. Say uh, less. Shake on, shake on it. Shake nigga, on it. Yo, bro, bro, if I don't start the show, and if you want to throw it up on the I'm <laughs> showing you. Yo, yeah, yeah, neighborhood. Nah, no, 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 big neighborhood. Big neighborhood. Yeah, big yeah, yeah, big in that shit. You know what I mean? I'm suing y'all for them sneakers over there. If I don't be on the beginning of the show, bro, I need to do it. Let's go. Let's go. Now that nigga wear ten. Let's go. We win. Uh, I'm going to set the tone. We I'm going to start it off. Tone. We all that. Less, we I'm a name that. drive. I'm going to put what you got to do. Say less. We with all that. I'll be the boy Lynn Leasy. That's the name you got to get on it. Cool, cool. cool. Uh, JC the Light. <laughs> you know it's mean? your boy T-Rex. Mr. Grown Man Ball. <laughs> yeah, it is Set the Tone set Podcast. You're ready, my nigga. Shit. Seize up. Global yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>